Hey guys, welcome to Jeep Sheep TV. Today we're cleaning our valve cover. Today's video is a really simple yet incredibly important one. I think oftentimes we forget about our valve cover and how it could get clogged with gunk. So I spend a lot of time in the junkyard mostly because I just like to learn about Jeeps. I like to see different variations and I also like to look for trends. Now something I've noticed is you walk up to a six cylinder Jeep and usually the intake, the throttle body is all relatively clean. Anytime you walk up and see one of these inline four cylinder Jeeps, the 2.5 liter, it's never clean. The intake and the throttle body are always just covered in gunk and really it's not a good sight. And if I want to pull a part out of there, everything in the engine bay is just nasty. So what's going on here? I think that the biggest culprit is your valve cover. So your valve cover has two ways that air can get in and out of it. One is here, this is a metered orifice, and this one here is just a vent hole. Neither of these have a valve on them. That's a common misconception. They say look for your PCV, which is referring to a valve, and these are not valved. This is just open to the air, and so is this one. Now this, you have vacuum that is pulling on it here, and this one goes into your air box. Now if you can see inside here, you have these two tubes. Now all these are doing is they're preventing the splashing oil that should be splashing all over your rockers. They're preventing that oil from getting up and just going right out of here. What we're gonna be looking at today is we're looking at these here holes. We're gonna open them up and we're going to look inside to see if they're clogging the air passages for these. As you're doing this, you're gonna want to give your entire valve cover a clean because if it's plugged, like I said, there's a strong chance this whole thing is just covered in muck and you, you don't wanna put that back on your engine. You don't wanna have to wash your hands every time you touch something in the engine bay of your Jeep. So there's a couple things that I'm going to show you that you can use to make this process a lot easier. One of them is a steel wire brush. Yes, this is aluminum, but the gunk is on there really, really hard and so you're gonna want a steel wire brush. And then I've even got, this is a razor blade in a little holder. I'll use this razor blade because you get a lot of carbon buildup in here and sometimes just gently scraping it out is the only way. Now for the exterior of your valve cover, I recommend something like this. This is a, it's Scott's brand. It's what was available at the bargain outlet, but it's an outdoor cleaner, heavy duty wipes. Let me show you what these look like. It says it has OxyClean in it. None of that stuff matters. What matters is you find a wipe like this that has these little beads on it, something that is a little bit more rough and will help you scrub. And then it's got some sort of solvent on there or cleaner to help you clean. This is what you're gonna wanna use for the exterior. These little bumps will help you push through that grease really well. Sometimes I'll take a flathead screwdriver and loosen up some of the grease and then I'll attack it with this. This valve cover is actually really clean compared to what I've seen. This is off of a TJ out of the junkyard. For the interior, what I recommend is oven cleaner. Okay, there's a little bit of controversy on oven cleaner. It is really powerful and it can eat into the aluminum. So you need to keep that in mind, but in this situation, these valve covers are so dirty that it takes two or three coats of this to even get to the aluminum, oftentimes. I have found nothing is as efficient as using oven cleaner. You spray it on, wait about 20 minutes, and then you hose it off with a pressure washer if you have it, or your garden hose will work as well. Also, if it, uh, it prefers heat, so you can do it in a hot day, put it out in the sun, and it should work a little bit better chemically but oven cleaner. Oven cleaner should not be used on the exterior because it just eats the paint. And so I would stick to these wipes for the exterior and oven cleaner for the interior. And you can probably finish the interior with one of these wipes as well. That would most likely work very well. Let's take a look at what to expect inside these vent holes. These little bolts are a quarter inch and you're gonna wanna be very gentle 
when doing this. They're not on super tight and there's a there's actually a small gasket inside of these that it'd be best if you did not break. These little bolts are very easy to lose, so I recommend a magnetic tray. Believe me, I have lost them. And you don't want to do that. You're going to want to very gently pull straight up on this guy. So there's a, a thin plastic film on here. The steel piece comes off. There's a gasket right here. And then there's another gasket that is in there. The thin plastic film I found doesn't usually survive this part. And so I do typically throw them away, but I try my very best to keep the gaskets alive. The best way to do that is to take your razor blade and be really, really gentle and work around the edges. These are prone to cracking. So you wanna keep everything nice and level. Okay, and that comes out. You're gonna do the same thing for this one, the razor blade. You can see it has a plastic film as well. That's not gonna survive this and that's okay. Here's something we need to pay really close attention to. This area in here is completely clean. Look at how gorgeous that is. And this engine looked awesome. The rockers were clean, push rods were clean. It looked like they were pushing oil very well. Everything was just awesome. The valve cover in my old engine was nothing like this. It was incredibly full of carbon and gunk and that full valve cover is what I see very often in the junkyard. This one, was not like that and something was done different on this engine than the other ones. The other side is going to come apart the exact same way. This one is again very very clean. All things considered. You can see in here there's just a little bit of gunk but really that is not bad. There's a lot of room for air to flow in here. Maintenance like this can really help the life of your engine and you should see a decent impact on your fuel economy and possibly even your power output as well. At one point with my previous engine, the breather tube, the part that goes to the air box, got completely clogged. And when I unclogged that, I saw a two to three miles per gallon increase in my fuel economy. These vent holes are incredibly important for venting the crankcase pressure and that pressure can really have detrimental effect on your engine and your performance as well. Now about a year ago is when I swapped out my old engine for another of the same 2.5 liter inline four engine. When I did that, I bought a long block assembly, which means I had to use my original valve cover and that's when I cleaned it. Now that was, like I said, about a year and a half ago. So we're going to pull off my valve cover and look at how it's done in just that short amount of time. This is my valve cover. This is the one that I cleaned, put back on, and have been running with for quite some time now. As you can see, it has quite a bit of oil all along the top and edges, and that's good because that means the oil is getting to the top of the engine. My previous engine didn't do that. It was completely dry up here and just carbon. And I've seen that on a few other engines in the junkyard and it's really not a good thing. So we're gonna give the inside and outside a good wipe. And then we're gonna investigate what's been going on in here over the last year and a half or so. This is a great time to tell you that you should be subscribed to this channel. Also, if you find this helpful, Take this video and share it with a friend. I have tons of videos about these four cylinder Jeeps and I make them to be helpful for you. Also, these projects are not necessarily free. And so there's two ways you can support this channel. One is by sharing this video. I'll benefit off the ad revenue. And the second one is by visiting JeepSheepTVStore.com where you can purchase merchandise that we sell, such as some neck gaiters that have the Jeep grills on them and some stickers with our sweet Jeep Sheep TV logo. 
nice and clean, free of debris, carbon. That looks very good. I don't have the gaskets because I broke mine when I took this out. I'm seeing a little bit of carbon chunks here and there. I can't remember. Oh, that one is fresh. That's new. I can see through the metered orifice and here's your vent. I can see through that as well. Now you can see there's a little bit of carbon in these areas here, some dark spots. That's just because I hadn't discovered the oven cleaner yet when I had done this last. And so that was the extent of what I could clean it to. I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of what it looks like to use that oven cleaner. While I've got this out, I might as well clean it up just a little bit more. Please do this in a well-ventilated area. You're just gonna spray it in here. Try not to get up on the seal, try not to get on the paint, just try to keep it inside. Mine's about out. You're gonna wanna get it so there's a little bit of foam in there and you're gonna let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you'll spray it out with a hose. It is truly amazing what that oven cleaner can do. Now the other tip I'm gonna give you on this one is know when it's good enough. This valve cover has a lot of nooks and crannies in it and it's got a lot of spots where you're still gonna get little deposits of carbon. Now, unless you have a professional grade parts cleaner, there's got to be a point where you decide it's good enough because this thing will drive you crazy getting it completely spotless and then it's just going to get oil all over it. Now that you have cleaned the valve cover, you're going to want to make sure it doesn't get dirty again. And the best way to do that is to keep this hose clean and free of debris so it can flow air back and forth through the air box. And this hose here also this we didn't take this out earlier this is the metered orifice i was talking about you can unscrew it make sure it's not plugged full of carbon or debris and also make sure this vacuum line is connected and has good flow through it that will keep this valve cover breathing well and operating well for many miles to come okay guys i hope you find this video useful something like this where you're taking off the valve cover and cleaning it it seems like a lot because it's tearing apart the engine it's really not a big deal and it is something you should be doing i'm not entirely sure how often you should be doing this but if i was to take a guess i would say about 20 to 30 thousand miles or maybe every two years you should take the valve cover off and make sure it's breathing properly because when it gets plugged, it just gets kind of exponentially worse. Also, the vacuum lines, you should be checking those at least once a year, if not twice a year. And that metered orifice, that little fitting, you should be checking that also once or twice a year as well. And your engine should be running very clean and happy if you do this. Ah. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you're sharing it with your friends. I hope that you're subscribing to the channel and I hope that you're having a great time with your Jeep. Really, that's all we can ask and I will see you in the next video.